Hi, my name is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works, and in today's video, we're going to answer one of the most common questions we get asked about Power Automate approvals. And that is, how do I nudge the customer or remind the customer, internal customer, uh, that they have an approval that's waiting for acknowledgement? So stay tuned. Power Automate approvals are one of the most powerful things they have in Power Automate. It provides a way to make data actionable. In other words, you can send a notice of a PTO request or a budget request to somebody, and they get an email, an app alert, or a Teams alert asking them to acknowledge it or approve it or reject it or do some kind of custom message after that. So that's the good part. The bad part is there's no built-in approvals for uh, approval reminders inside of Power Automate. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna walk through how to, a simple solution to add reminders to nudge that internal customer uh, over the finish line in case they drop the email or forget about an email. So let's see what our solution looks like. Well, first of all, I've constructed a basic approval structure right here. I'm waiting for a new account to be created. If it happens, I start and wait for this approval right here where I construct a basic uh, approval, just you approve the count added, and then I put my details right here. And then after they do something, I will put the outcome of that into the description of this. So you'll, you'll see a description uh, on any of these fields right here. So I'm gonna make the description right here, the word approve or reject. Again, it's very, very simplified. Normally for this example, we'd have a branch. And we would say, if you said the word approve, then we're click on the word approve, we're gonna go the left route and we'll update the record to say the word approved on some type of status field. And then reject, we'll do the same thing for rejection. And then we'll let the customer know that they, their record has been approved or rejected. So that's the normal to solution, but we're gonna keep this really simple for this because that's what it's not about. There's other videos we've built around that. This video is all about how do we, uh, how do we nudge the person, let them know that they have not actually clicked on the approve or reject button. So to start with, we're gonna add two steps that will kind of start this process off. The first step is gonna go right after a new account is created and that's to initialize a variable. So right here, we're going to initialize a variable here and then after they approve it, we're gonna take that variable and say the approval has actually happened. So that's our first step. I'm gonna go ahead and add an action and we'll call this just variable. And I should be able to find the initialize a variable right here. I'll call that var, um, how do I call it? Var approval complete. It's a Boolean and it will default to false. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here. So after the approval actually happens, let's go ahead and do another action to go ahead and take the same variable and set the variable this time so set this variable to be equal to true. So essentially this is saying, all right, uh, create this variable. It has not, the approval has not been done, but the minute you hit the approve or reject button, go ahead and set that variable true. This instrumentation is gonna be required for the right side of the branch. So for the right side of the branch, we're gonna put some logic right here, right after the new account, oh, sorry, not there. Right after this, this variable was created, we're gonna put some logic over here. And that logic over here is going to, first of all, wait for wait for five days, five weeks, whatever that time, five, five hours, whatever the time might be it is, and nudge that person along. So I'm gonna go ahead and create an action, and there'll be a parallel branch. Once I do that, my first step is to go ahead and click on Control, and I'm gonna do a do until loop. And I'm gonna keep on looping until that variable right here is equal to true. So once it's equal to true, it will go ahead and break that loop. Inside the loop, I'm gonna go ahead and create our actions. And there's a few things we wanna do. I'm gonna first of all, put a, a delay in here. And that delay is going to wait for five minutes, five, you know, one week, whatever it might be. For the purpose of this video, please do not do this in the real world. I'm gonna make that delay 15 seconds so we can actually see the results of, of my work here. Again, don't do that. Next, because the approver might have happened 
in that delay, in that five day delay, I'm inside the loop and it's going to analyze that variable every time I do a loop. So because that, that the delay is in the loop, that approver, approver may have actually clicked the approve button while it was uh, waiting. So I'm gonna do one last uh, check here. I'm gonna do a condition here. And that condition is also going to look at the variable and say, is that variable false? Okay, just one last gut check, just in case that approve happened when I was delaying. Keep in mind, it's going to break the loop whenever it sets to true, but it won't be able to analyze that until the delay has happened and it's able to go back up again and do the loop again. So let's go ahead and if the, if the approval is false, let's send out an email. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for email right there and send an email notification. I'll send this also to myself for the time being. There we go. And the subject of this, will, I'll go ahead and get a little fancy here, hit the, the my Windows key to get the little emojis in. Uh, reminder to uh, you know, approve that account, all right? And then I'll put a body of my email here. Good enough. Okay, so that's all there is to the solution. As you can see, it's pretty low code. I had to do a do while, do until loop, added a variable, and then I have my delay right here. Let's go ahead and save this and let's see what the results are. So our next step is to add an account and watch the results of it in, in our actual flow right here. So it's saving right now. Let's go back into my flow and you can see it's saving up in the top left. Now it has been saved. I'm gonna go over to my account here and I'll add a new account. Brian was here, hit save and close. And that should trigger the flow. Let me go back over here again and let's watch it as it kicks into this now. So I'll go ahead and, uh, this is this guy right here, I believe. Yep, that's it. We'll see it actually has is running right now. Now there's a few things that are gonna happen now. First thing you're gonna see is I'm gonna get an email in my Outlook and I can actually make the response right there. I'm also getting a notification inside of Teams right now. And I have installed uh, really easily, a little plus button, little dot, dot, dot right here. I have installed the approval center. So if I leave and uh, leave and come right back, we'll see that in that environment that I've got a whole bunch of approvers. Make sure you go and filter it by your the correct environment. So find whatever Brian Knight environment actually has my ones. All right, there it was. Brian was here added. So see, it's been it's been re requested now. So I'm waiting to either approve it here by hitting the approve reject button. I also received a lot of emails at this point, but I received my first email right here where I can approve and reject it. This happens automatically, okay? Uh, if I was inside the web experience or Outlook, I would have a, these would be links, but in this case, I can actually hit the approve button, put my comments and actually send it right there or within Teams or within the Power Automate app. You'll also see that I've got a whole bunch now, I've got four of them so far, of this email right here, where it's reminding uh, the, the customer to send out that out as well. So I'm getting a whole bunch of little reminders. I'm up to four emails right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and approve this. Okay, hit the approve button. There it goes, oops, submit, there we go. Now, now that I've done that, there comes another email. It's uh, waiting to, now I actually push the data. All right, so now I should now see, there it goes, it goes from requested to someone else here soon. So if I actually click on that request, we'll see what the, the lineage of it looks like. You can see it actually has been uh, approved just now. I can also, if I go back over to here, we can see that if I go to, I think it was Brian was here, go to details, we can then see it's been approved this way. And then lastly, if I refresh this, we can see that it actually went down both paths and how many emails went out. It looks like I got about four or five emails here. So if I click on this one from two minutes ago, we'll see that when I go in the do until loop, that actually, it actually was six times I got that email. All right, so this is a, a really simple solution to solve a, a fairly complex problem. You can make this whatever you wish. You might wanna say reminder number one and, and actually do an increment of variable that way as well. But really simple solution. This is part of this training we do at Pragmatic Works. We specialize in training the Power Platform and the Azure Stack. We also do things like hackathons where we can build a solution with you. And we do things like virtual mentoring where you can help you get unstuck if you happen to get stuck. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. And please do subscribe if you wanna see future videos like this also. Have a great day and thanks for watching.